It's easy for us to tell when soil is very wet or when soil is very dry. But how wet or dry our soil is has other effects too. For example, when soil is wet, microbes in the soil release more potent greenhouse gases. And when soil gets too dry, crops fail and their price goes up. So it's important for us to be able to measure exactly how wet or dry the soil is. In the past, measuring soil moisture exactly could be labor-intensive and unreliable. But now, we use cosmic rays to measure soil moisture. High-energy subatomic particles caused by cosmic events which come from outer space and rain down continuously on our planet. The particles are scattered and lose energy as they collide with atoms in the air and soil. The hydrogen contained in water molecules is very good at absorbing energy, so when soils are wet, our sensors count fewer particles. At the Center for Ecology and Hydrology, we have set up a network of 50 cosmic ray neutron sensors across the UK. The network is known as the Cosmic Ray Soil Moisture Observing System UK, or COSMOS UK for short. We analyze and share the data from our sensors in real time, and we join it up with data from satellite monitoring and land surface models to build up a picture of soil moisture over a large area. The information we provide can help to predict floods, droughts, fires and crop yields. The information helps water companies to manage their resources. Farmers can use it to see if they need to irrigate their crops. And our scientists are now working with scientists in other countries to develop similar networks. The data will also help us to investigate how soil moisture can influence weather patterns, helping us to better understand the impacts of climate change on our environment. For example, in India, scientists will be able to use soil moisture data to help predict when the monsoon is coming. To find out more about soil moisture monitoring, visit cosmos.ceh.ac.uk.